Hi guys, I was so excited when uh, Steinberg surprised us with the new Cubase Pro 9 version and um, of course I went ahead and uh, downloaded it and activated it. I uh, actually waited up with uh, 8.5 and uh, because of that I was given 9 uh, in the grace time period so uh, yay hey. But uh, upon opening version 9, I had a surprise that suddenly uh, my contact sampler from Native Instrument wasn't showing up. So uh, I was like, what is this all about? So as you can see here on the screen, when you add a new rack instrument in the list there, contact is not there. Now I have complete uh, from Native Instrument, complete 10 still. Uh, so contact is in there and in uh, Cubase 8.5 it's all showing up in the previous versions everything is okay first I thought maybe I need to upgrade uh, contact to a higher version didn't work either uh, everything's still the same not showing up so then I went ahead and looked in the plugin paths in um, uh, on the screen here you'll see the two different paths here uh, the VST plugin pass from Steinberg and of course it's not in there and then in the VST plugins the 64-bit version from native instruments con all the contact is there so I was thinking uh, why isn't it showing up because in the previous versions it is now apparently the new Cubase 9 didn't uh, take the new plugin paths from my previous versions which it should have I think because that's what it's been doing all this time so uh, there's an easy fix for that and if you don't know you click on devices here in the window on top and you go to plugin manager and then here at the bottom it was open already if you look at VST instruments and then here at the bottom is a little wheel plugin manager settings you go you see all the plugin paths, VC2 plugin path settings. Then you can click Add Path, and you go into your system drive, and of course the 64-bit program files. And then we navigate to Native Instruments, and then at the bottom there is the VST plugins 64-bit path. And then, as you can see, it's all there. So, if I now say rescan all, it's going to rescan. I must restart the application, of course, for it to take effect. It's going to rescan, and then as you will see, uh, after this, contact will show up. So, uh, shortly said, if you don't have certain plugins that should be there, check your VST plugin paths because uh, probably that's the reason unless they've been blacklisted but of course contact is not going to be blacklisted uh, so just add the path again because obviously they didn't inherit it from the previous versions that's something i just discovered and wanted to share with you guys hope that helps little tip uh, have a good one i'm all excited about cubase 9 so i'm gonna play a little bit more see you guys thanks for watching Bye bye